Roar! Hey guys, it's me, Godzilla Productions TV, here doing a requested figure review. This uh, review was technically requested by um, Methylokaiju. Um, he commented saying that I'm really interested of that Aaron figure. Very rare and awesome looking toy. So of course today I'm reviewing Aaron. Uh, I just gotta move it down. So yeah, so I, I decided to make a review to sort of like show him show him the figure. You know, give him a better look. Um so hang on. Lamp. It's not even working. Well, sorry if this isn't the best quality. But yes, today I am reviewing Aaron Raw. So, Aaron is sort of like Alien Guts, I guess you could say, uh, toy. What Alien Guts does is they just sort of take Aaron and use Aaron as sort of like a I don't know, weapon to test Ultra Seven's powers. And Aaron just beats the it gets the ever loving ever loving snot whipped out of him every time. And the poor thing just So that's all for history. Normally I start off with articulation but <laughs> So articulation is the arms can move pretty well. I mean, this one can move better, but the head, don't move it. <laughs> Please don't move it. The legs, they're really stiff, but the tail just keeps going and going and going in so many circles. The tail is the best move for articulation. And then, for size comparison, hang on, I'll be right back. I'll just walk over here. Yeah. Get my alien guts. So, here's my alien guts figure. So, I even though they never really fight, they just sort of appear in the same same uh, series or same episode. So, and the guts watching their spaceships, watching as he destroy, tries to destroy and fails at Ultra Sun. Let's put him back. Alright. Next for size comparison is Ultra 7. So Ultra 7, I think they're supposed to be like the same height. Actually, I think Ultra 7 is supposed to be like that. So, since they're a completely different series, I'll give it a pass. Just because different series and everything, so. Fly away, are you Ultra 7? The heck, stupid camera. Well, okay. There's Aaron again. Yay. On to detail and paint job because I already did history. So, if you really get the figure in front of the camera, it looks actually pretty good. It's not at all as fat as it looked in the series, but boy does this figure make it look a lot more like a gargoyle. It's actually pretty cool, as Methylkaiju said, and don't forget to check out his channel. But I got this figure, if you watch one of my box opening videos, I got it with a bunch of other Marmot monsters. And, uh, actually there was one uh, unboxing video that I won't post for a while that actually I made a long time ago, because I need to do some editing in it. So, yeah.
so yeah, this is, um, the paint job is pretty generic, because, well, it was very just, really just like some sort of dragon, um, Super I threw together to make it. He's got hook hands, hook feet, he's got like dragon like winds. It's basically a gargoyle. So, yeah, I really like this figure. And it's got a good paint job, like I said. The teeth are actually individual and they're individually painted. So, that is amazing. And, well, it's marmot, so it's going to be amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And watch my collection video or my g Fist haul video, the most recent one. Um, well, whatever the most recent one is as you're watching this. Or collection update. Just sort of like, give me some review, requ review requests. So as I said, um... Don't forget to let me know about your fan films that you want to make. Sort of stuff like that. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Uh, so yeah, time for Godzilla Productions TV to sign off. Work